Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and today I'm at the AI Vibes Summit in Santa Monica, California, and I just got done watching and listening to a panel, and I got the moderator with me today. So, Sander, hey, first off, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, glad you made it. All right, so you're a good moderator, man. I wouldn't say it if, if I didn't mean it. Do you do stuff like that a lot? Thank you. It somehow turned out to be, yes. I love to unpack technologies and like make it easily digestible and and as creating content myself, it, mm. it also, you know, I hope to then do that for others through the moderation on the panel. So mm. it somehow, yeah, turned out that way. Is AI one of those things that you've always been interested in or did it just kind of like, did you get the bug recently? Like, where, tell me about your journey with AI. My journey started probably around um, two and a half, three years ago mm. uh, before Jet GPT and a little before, you know, GPT-2 mm. time when I was playing around with it in the OpenAI playground, mm. where you had actually a very similar interface that you have today in ChatGPT. And yeah. I was showing it to people. I was like typing in the prompts. <laughs> I was like, this is what it generates back. And then I do this, and then it categorizes yeah. everything. And for me, it was just such a mind-blowing moment. Mm. But I still have you know, some of those presentations that I use with companies that I work with and, mm -hmm. and showed it to them. And I, I, I dug them up. And actually, they dug them up. They were like... <laughs> Dude, you were showing us the videos and the demos like literally a year before wow. like ChatGPT because ChatGPT was using a model that was a year old when yeah. it came out, GPT-3 at the time, mm -hmm. and then it captured everybody's imagination. There was other things that came together, of course, the familiar interface with, you know, messaging back and forth which mm. we already do with iMessage, WhatsApp, whatever. Mm. Um, and that's that's what made it happen, but yeah, I, I did get the bug a lot earlier yeah. and and I'd always been looking for ways myself to like automate myself out of the, the jobs and, and get as much help and, and see yeah. machines as a collaborator. And so you're very much involved in media, content creation. Like, where does AI, like, how does it work into your world in media? Like, it's very easy to go on those hype cycles mm. in general. You know, when two years ago, it was all about blockchain and crypto. Oh, and yeah. for the last, you know, uh, year and a half, it's been all about just generative AI. Mm -hmm. I think uh, that is a, a, an easy to be carried away by that wave. And, and fundamentally, like whether you're creating content or you're building products mm -hmm. is to challenge yourself. And I challenge mm -hmm. every all of you to yeah. like explain your ideas and explain your whether it's content ideas or product ideas with, without using the word AI. Mm -hmm. And that challenges you to focus on the, the core value of what you're trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And then AI just becomes an enabling technology, helping you get it done. Maybe today mm -hmm. it's AI. Maybe in the future we are not going to use that word anymore. The same yeah. Anyway, as you know, the internet and calling it the information highway in the beginning, which is oh, don't yeah. use it, just, you know, it's a way how we interact. That's or, true. Or even before or that, like, like technology. Or like digital media. You don't yeah. you didn't even say like, oh, you're involved in digital media. It's just said oh, you're involved yeah. in media, right? Yeah. Because all of those changes will become norms. And mm. when they become norms, we don't even think about the technology. We think about the value that it provides to us. Mm. And that's the same way I try to think about whether they're the tools that I use or, or content, the products that I build. Mm -hmm. The same way, just focus on the value and then use all of the po available enabling yeah. technologies. Uh, and therefore, it doesn't really matter what, what hype... Uh, cycle mm. we're in or, or wave you're writing. Yeah. What excites you right now about, about just AI, the technology, the landscape? What excites you right now? Most excitement comes from how empowered all of the independent uh, creators are. Mm. The creators is a, a large term for me, whether you're an engineer, you're a, a developer, whether you're Einsteinist, like a musician here, yeah. like seeing Power Cheese, you know, performing <laughs> with an orchestra. Like yeah. That for her was a barrier before. Like, how do you hire an orchestra, hire a space, uh, like write the, the scores for mm -hmm. the orchestra? Now she's empowered to do that. Yeah. And whether you take a filmmaker, independent filmmaker, and uh, there's several friends here who are filmmakers, and they're like, I had this idea, but there was never budget to make it happen. Mm. And like, and all of those ideas that have been in the like, you know, hidden drawers are now coming out and becoming reality. And yeah. those are becoming reality for you know the creative arts, which is where we're seeing the biggest movement. You know, mm -hmm. the music that uh, she was not able to create before that she is able to now mm -hmm. co-create and bring to life. Or a filmmaker who had an idea that couldn't make it happen because VFX teams were so expensive mm -hmm. and it took so much time and couldn't raise the money for it. Mm -hmm. Or as somebody who's got an idea for a digital product like build a mobile app never been able to do it because in finding an engineering partner or having this learning the skills yourself mm. has been time consuming and costly now they're able to do that so i love this blossoming mm. of human creativity and the same applies to myself like yeah. i'm just like playing <laughs> <laughs> so much at the moment and uh, having a lot of fun doing it and you know it's generally speaking like what we also talked yeah. about in the panel it's easy to get into the fear mindset in the beginning mm. where it's like 
oh my god it's taking away like mm -hmm. i'm losing stuff on the other hand like the the other side of it the light mm -hmm. side of it is it, it's such a enabler that opens up all the opportunities for us that we we couldn't imagine before so bringing all of the kind of dreams and mm. imaginations to life and allowing us to dream bigger is what excites me. Yeah. So we, we both had a shared experience with AI um, when we were watching right after the panel. There was there were the musicians playing and creating yes. AI right in front of me. What this reminded me of, and I think about like friends when I'm in like a jam session or something. I'm not a musician, but I have friends that are and I hang out and I like yeah. to see it. And I see them co-create with each other and just do new things. And to see like Scott Page on stage and like even when something didn't go right, that's being filmed so if you think about it even yeah. his reaction to the AI not producing something good was like creating new content and a new experience for the audience and myself and included yeah. and everybody else and then to see they brought a finished piece for everybody that's watching and listen there was a finished piece afterwards that they had obviously spent some time on in a video and some other things that had AI components of mm -hmm. it and Talk about what that experience was like for you, because for me, mind was blown. I felt like I was in a jam session with AI, Scott Page, and then I musicians. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. Like that, I think like that element mm. uh, of live, like you literally saw history in the <laughs> yeah. making. Like uh, uh, we had computers jamming with humans on stage. Like the same dynamics were happening, yeah. where we're like we're generating something with the audience that yeah. represents our emotions and our you know, um, pre uh, preferences that we mm -hmm. put in the prompt that generated the, the jam got and, and Aish Denise were, were going with. And I think that that energy, that mm -hmm. dynamic is not going anywhere, yeah. especially if we see it in, in the way of, you know, co-creation with AI. Mm. And she's using it in the most wonderful ways. You know, she's yeah. writing music with AI and then playing herself, performing herself. Mm. She's also, you know, writing some of the stuff herself and then uh, letting AI perform other instruments mm. within that. So when she's performing with like uh, robotic uh, orchestras yeah. uh, or AI orchestras, that's incredible because it's truly enabling. And like that energy on stage, like mm -hmm. between the man and the machine, that dynamic, that light and dark side in a way, if you if you will, is, yeah. is wonderful to witness. And to see the also then what I was thinking about too, and I was actually on the AI side on this one, and I'll tell you why. They weren't necessarily satisfied with the results, but I'm like, look at the prompts you gave them. It was like Ethiopian jazz. Let's mix it with <laughs> this. Let's make, okay, take the AI out and you go do that. That's right. Like you're telling, okay, you create something out of scratch or whatever, iterative, whatever we want to say, Ethiopian jazz. And it was just like, they were they were trying to trick the AI. I was like, give it something, to, give the AI something it could work with. Come on. I was fighting for the AI on that one. I, I actually, I'm with you as well. Like that's generally a tip, like the more <laughs> human like, like Imagine if they were in front of a real music musician and saying all right well we're going to try you out for you this gave new that band to Scott that we and you're created. like hey let's, let's test you out <laughs> <laughs> yeah give it to yeah give it to Scott. he's like what like yeah let's just let's <laughs> test your skills for a minute oh by the way let's throw some edm in there too he's yeah. in there with a the saxophone like <laughs> dude where's the edm sound gonna yeah you're uh, you're so right and, and the but i actually had i'm not joking i had a little bit of an emotional connection to the ai from this standpoint i'm, I'm gonna like, fight for the, you give me a break i was an ai advocate there like our ai has rights yeah <laughs> and you're gonna embarrass the ai in front of an audience come on yeah exactly you some empathy please right <laughs> empathy <laughs> for the, our ai <laughs> yeah but this is yeah you're so right we're in this phase at the moment we're yeah. testing the testing the borders you know <laughs> on how far can we push it and and sometimes it wonderfully kind yeah. of amazes us what it's yeah. able to create. And sometimes it just goes miserably wrong. And we're like, yeah. how does it not work? <laughs> wrong prompts, garbage in, garbage out. Well, we need to bring that one back now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I agree with uh, you. Well, well, Sandra, I just want to say, hey, it's been a lot of fun having you on the show. If um, if somebody wants to continue to follow your journey, you mentioned you're a creator, your social media or otherwise. Yeah, I want you to look in the camera, tell people how they can connect with you. Very easy. On every single platform, it's Sander Saar, which is S-A-N-D-E-R-S-A-A-R, -E all one word. Mm -hmm. You'll find the videos and some of the some of the creations that yeah. uh, that I'm I'm doing, both with AI and, and some without AI. Still. Awesome, fantastic. So I really thank you. I appreciate Thank the you for coming on. And for everybody watching, just so you know, we're going to put the website, all the other good stuff in the in the show notes so that in the social media, I should say, in the show notes so that you can just connect with Sandra as you choose. And uh, speaking of the audience, if this is your first time with Mission Matters and you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe or that follow button. This is a daily show. Each and every day we're bringing you new interviews, new content, and hopefully new inspiration to help you along the way in your journey. So hit that subscribe or follow button. And Sandra, I won't keep 
you anymore. I know you got a long conference, man. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on. Appreciate it. All right. Take care.